welcome back dear children are you all safe at home hope you all are safe at home shall we move on to the lesson okay before that let's rewind the previous class in the previous class i told you to read the text did you read the text okay so i'll ask you some questions based on the previous class so are you ready students my first question is here all of you listen to my question why did the author feel happy yes very good he felt very happy when he became the owner of a tiny little piece of this wide earth next question is who were the trespassers yes the birds butterflies crows and hawks were the trespassers now all of you look at this question why did the author call the birds and butterflies as trespassers they entered the author's two acre plot without his permission so the author called them as trespassers students now shall we go through the rest of the story so all of you take page number 81 students all of you pause the video and read the first two paragraphs now i'll give you a moral reading of these two paragraphs all of you listen carefully and find out the difficult words also no where they along there were mongooses in the bamboo thicket and there were foxes in the shrubs close by ready to pounce on the hens then there were rats rats of course were found everywhere even as i wondered what right all these creatures had to be on my land there arrived a fierce creature without paws and wings a cobra it stood before me dignified majestic its hood spread out it hissed as if asking me what business i had on this land didn't it know that i was the new owner students hope you all identify the difficult words so now shall we discuss those words and their meanings mongoose a small carnivorous mammal with a long body and tail here you can see the picture of mongoose thicket an area of trees and bushes growing closely together this is the picture of a thicket shrubs a woody plant which is smaller than a tree did you see the picture pound so means attack suddenly fears means violent paws means foot of animal having claws or nails here is a picture of paw dignify means make something seem worthy majestic means impressive his means sharp sound of snake students now i'll explain these paragraphs all of you listen attentively here The author was telling about the trespassers who came into his plot. There were not only the butterflies, birds, insects and hawks, but also the mongooses in the bamboo forest and foxes in the shrubs who were ready to attack the hens. Rats were seen everywhere. When the author thought about the creatures who entered into the plot, there came a cobra which he described as a fierce creature without paws and wings it stood in front of the odor by spreading out its hood it hissed as if asking the odor what business he had on this land by looking at this the odor asked himself that didn't it know that i was the new owner students hope you all understood these two paragraphs Am I right? So, shall we move on to the next paragraph? Students, now I'll give you a moral reading of these two paragraphs and all of you listen attentively and find out the difficult words. 
You had better leave my two acre land at once, I said. But then where could it go? Hadn't the whole earth been taken over by man bit by bit? My wife said, The jack fruit has ripened. Squirrels and crows are feasting on it. The guavas and mangoes, birds and bats are eating up everything. Students, now shall we discuss the difficult words and their meanings? Feast means to eat lavishly. Guava, an edible tropical fruit. Here you can see the picture of guava. Students, now I will give you the explanation of these paragraphs. The author told Cobra to leave his land. At that time, the author thought, But where could it go? Then he realized that the whole earth being taken over by man bit by bit. The author's wife said that the jackfruit has ripened. Then she made a complaint that squirrels and crows are eating the jackfruit, guavas, the mangoes. She said that bats and birds are eating everything. Now shall we move on to the next paragraph? I'll read this paragraph. And all of you identify the difficult words. But that's the beauty of it. I reply. God has created variety of things in this universe. Fruits, edible roots, grass, grain, flowers, water, air, warmth and light. Now, while we are the owners of this land, without a doubt, the birds, bees, reptiles and insects too have a right to these things just as we have. God has made them for all the creatures and we had better remember that occasionally. Now shall we discuss the new words and their meanings? Edible, suitable to be eaten. Warmth, sensation of being warm. Beast, animal, occasionally at irregular intervals. Okay, now I'll explain this paragraph. Here, what was the reply of the author? Yes, he replied that it's the beauty of it. Then he said that God has created variety of things in this universe and while we are the owners of this land, the other creatures also have the right to consume these things in nature. He said that God has made them for all the creatures and here the author wants to make us remember about this truth. Students, hope you all understood today's class. Did you enjoy today's class? Okay, in the next class, I'll ask you some questions. So, all of you read the text thoroughly. Okay, see you in the next class. Thank you, dear children.